Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So tonight we are going to do a shift in trauma at the hospital and we're going to take you guys along with us. Yeah. So, so far during the elective I've been doing internal medicine, I've done a few weeks in dermatology and then this is my first glimpse of trauma. Yeah, so. I've been doing emergencies and trauma. Uh, the last couple of weeks I spent more time on trauma. So today we're doing a night shift. Mm -hmm. We'll take you guys with us and film everything we can. He had a big lesion and knife cut to his face and one on the chest. We're stitching him up. Okay. It was just stuck in his head, it was just superficial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay apart. Hey guys, so we're now in the doctor's office. Yep. Uh, just taking a break, it's around 1am now. Yeah, so we've been here a few hours now, we've seen some crazy stuff, is yeah. the only way I can describe it. Um, we've been doing a lot of skills, we've been doing like AVGs, yeah. um, kind of what the minds are. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah. We've seen quite a few patients with gunshots, gunshot wounds, mm -hmm. um, a few stabbings. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's mostly been those type of patients tonight. So one of the patients who had a stabbed um, abdomen also had part of their omentum um, sticking out, yep. which is something we've never seen before. No. Um, so now we're just waiting to do a chest drain on someone who's been stabbed to the chest to just remove any blood in the chest or any air if they've got a pneumothorax. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, so it's now around 4 a.m. Yep. <laughs> Um, we're going to head back now because there wasn't much happening now. Yeah, so it's been a good night, seen yeah. a lot of stuff, got to do a lot of things, so yeah. successful night in trauma, so yeah. yeah. It's quite interesting. Yep. Hey guys, so the video clip you've just seen um, is part of a documentary that was done about Kailicha. It's one of the hospitals in the area, it's not far from Dagenberg Hospital. Mm -hmm. It just shows you some of the trauma cases that you can expect to see um, in emergencies and trauma. Obviously being in a hospital there's not very much you can really fill in as to what you're doing. So yeah. what I want to do is just to um, have a sit down and chat with you guys about the type of things that we saw and what we were doing during the shift. Yeah. So we started at 7pm and we finished at 4am so it was a bit quieter by 4 so we decided yeah. to just head off. So during the night shift we saw quite a lot of uh, different trauma cases including gunshot wounds, stabbings, people been involved in road traffic accidents. Mm -hmm. I think those were the main three types of cases we saw. Yeah, and during the shift we're doing lots of different clinical skills. So mm. on trauma you do a lot more kind of hands-on stuff than anything else I would say. Yeah, definitely. Um, so we were doing things, so when a patient's brought in, generally they would need some bloods of some description done, so we're practicing venipuncture. Yeah. Uh, they might need a lineup, so we were doing uh, fluids and blood. Yeah. Um, we had to go to the blood bank at one point to get some emergency bloods for a patient. Mm -hmm. So you've got to be very much on the ball, yeah. going the whole time. Uh, and other things that we did, so we were doing ABG, so this is an arterial blood gas. Mm -hmm. And it's really important to see kind of the patient's um, ventilation, how the lungs are working, and just things like that. There was also chest strains being yeah. inserted and removed. With chest strains, if you go a lot, you can learn how to do it, and they're more than happy to have you like do it and they'll observe you. So obviously it varies uh, from night to night what you get to see and do. Um, some, some of the nights I was there, I was involved in CPR and uh, observing and assisting in intubations. So it really does vary. So that's pretty much what we saw and what we did. Yeah. So we hope you've enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time for another one.